Quickly, a rookie, had an incredible campaign last year on home soil at the President's Cup, went unbeaten. Concern. It's three from three down the right for the USA. That last one has got a decent lie, though. But well, looks decent. On the tee for Europe, Sepp Straka. Such a rite of passage, the first tee making his debut already with a Ryder Cup point alongside Shane Lowry yesterday. Just putting the hammer down immediately on these first three matches. Every time the Europeans up in the middle and every time the Americans in the right rough. Can't play this course from the rough. Strong start already from Europe. Can see more of the ball this time round. Really good shot from Brian. Got over that tree. Got it right where he needs to be for his partner to kind of be able to have a pretty simple chip and hit it right up at that green and maybe up to the top of the tier to win the hole with Sepp Straka. Not quite high enough or firm enough but it is a gimme four. <laughs> and the Americans get the first half of the day. And this is a huge session session this morning. Back at the first to tie the hole, Harmon. He's a lot. So reliable with that club. Captain Donald, complete show of strength and his belief in his team to put the hardest format out first. We've seen this a couple of times now. The player's just trying to draw this into this back left pin. Yes. <laughs> just has to settle. Nice, taking a nice, real nice kiss off the collar and come back down onto the green. To Max Homer at two. Fantastic shot, as you can see, the same kind of flight, trying to draw it in and use that slope. Wonderful shot there. Coming about a third of this distance for the USA as well. Both for a three. Get in. Oh, oh, get in. Oh. Oh. You'd expect Harman to hold that after what we saw at the open. Tremendous to punt. Shane Lowry, US already on the green. Yeah, a bit of, bit of grass in front of the ball. I wonder if that's going to affect it at all distance wise. Absolutely not, Sam. No. <laughs> what a wonderful shot from Lowry, open champion. Ed Cantley. Apologies, Homer. Down the hill. They so hold a few of them yesterday. Apparently that wasn't far away. For Sepp Straka to tie up the match. A wonderful second from Lowry. The perfect pair from Straka. Match all square. No more red on the board.
First to go for birdie at the fourth. Another putt to come for the USA. Miss on the high side for Straka. You always know when it's his putt for birdie that the other team are near the hole than you, and they have a putt for birdie also. No flies on you, Sam. No, it's just, well, it helps if you just get that, know that. It makes him settle down a wee bit. <laughs> Yet again, no red on the leaderboard. Europe up in three of the four matches. And that could change here. To win the hole for Homer. That's a poor part. From the similar angle as well, he should have got a decent read of strikers. For Bertie, we hear down at the short par four fifth, all the way down on that bottom left tier. Great, great effort there. That was a real sort of tricky putt. Lower here, back on five for his par putt. One you want to knock in and make, make America make a putt as well. Yeah, so that be that be conceded. Problems for the Americans off the tee at six. This is the third shot. This is Brian Harmon. Remember the Europeans in close. Brian Harmon, really talented inside 50 yards. He has great, great hands. Right, it looks very kind of choppy in a way, but it's, it's he has incredible, incredible touch. Maybe caution is a little more advisable. This is a uh, par part for Max Homer and the United States at six. And that's going to be another hole to the Europeans and that match is going to be all squared up as well, tied. And Stracker. Let's see where it ends up. Oh, it hits soft. You've seen the ball hit and roll over that ridge numerous times and it just hit there. 2 7. Brian Harmon is chipping this one across the ridge. Settle. Home. 2 7. Shane Larry has a putt for birdie and the win here. Europeans haven't been up in this match yet. Up the slope for par. Must make you would think. And I think we are going to see a little bit more red on the board there. The Americans have two parts for it. Well, I never did you ever. Look at the state of play here in Rome. So this is Brian Harmon, as I say, two putts for it. Coses it down, hole side, no mistake there. And that will be the Americans one up in that third match. He was ahead, uh, third I should say, of Straka. And just over 165, trying to play a draw into this left hole occasion. They've never led in this match, these two. Hold of the ninth here. In the hole! Yes! Oh. Again, he's hit, he's hit a lot of good putts. Hasn't gone in. And then Larry into the water. This is the response for Brian Harmon at 10. He's got a game built for foursomes. Doesn't put too many feet wrong. Seventh, coming over this big bank at the front of the green. He's got to go high.
Oh, it's just going to catch that slope. Is it going to stay on the green? It, it sort of peels off over to the right here. Stop. You'd have to think that was a... He had to make that, I think. A great chance for Homer down the green. Wonderful, wonderful chip from Harmon. They need these, he's got it. Straight in. And another American win. They go two up. Their biggest lead of the day so far. Three. You just see the flag. To the right of the trunk of the tree. Oh, underneath oh. the branches. Oh. Hello, hello. What a magnificent shot from Max Homo. These two kind of feeling themselves a little bit. They're getting a little bit of momentum, man. That was an incredible drive from Brian right there. Put himself in great position. Max with the high draw going on this hole. Lands it absolutely perfectly. Oh, this makes an albatross here. Look at that. Incredible stuff. Going to see a third eagle in the last few holes. The reply from Straka. Looks like it's on a great line. Yeah, that's a brilliant reply. Gives Shane a chance of it because the Americans are in the pocket by the looks of that. European putt has been conceded, so they're in for a birdie two. Harmon to tie the hole and remain three up. Man, Harmon, he's so good with the putter. I mean, he's so confident. There's a stride with these two. These guys have to play. Back to 14, and this is Brian Harmon for birdie. This looks good. Good touch from Brian there. He's God, he has great hands. Anything inside 50 yards, man, he's a master at it. So on that ball, we'll see whether that comes into play for the next shot. In the meantime, let's go to Stracker at 16, an eagle putt. Is it? Is it going to be the Tiger Woods moment? Are we going to see it roll in? Surely. Third shot for the Americans at 15. Max Homer. You have to just keep grinding and keep playing. Europeans are in. Straka nearly made an eagle. Shane was going nuts as it was rolling up to the hole, and then it didn't drop. Pretty good lie here. Just flop it just over the fringe. It should get all the way to the hole. It is to win the match. Hello. Oh, Max Homer. And it is the first victory this week for the United States of America. What a way to do it. A 4 and 2 win for Homer and Harmon over Lowry and Strucker. Love the hat off, yeah. not even looking. Didn't even know the ball went in, but knew it was going close. There's, this team is the first time that we've seen some swagger, some excitement, some confidence from anybody from the US side. That was very, very cool. And you can see, listen, I mean, I, we know the score, but like how important it is to win a match and how hard it is to win a match in the Ryder Cup. And you can see what it means to I mean, these guys put so much into it, it's so cool. This will become a meme real fast here. Like, I mean, that is so sweet. Like, he knew it right away when it landed. Huh. It's like <laughs> <laughs> to watch another Ryder Cup video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.